What's up guys? Mr. Lee Redman here with episode number two of the Road to the World Cup with El Salvador. Uh, this is the second episode as I just said. This is going to be quite, um, possibly a long episode because we have quite a bit to go through. Um, since I last recorded my um, like the first episode I have completed the third qualifying round of the World Cup. We've also had the Central American Nations Cup draw done as well so there's a little bit to get through so what we'll do is we'll go straight into the fixtures I've kind of given it away already there as you can see my first game was a 3-1 defeat at home to Costa Rica I did play a 4-4-2 in this um, in this game uh, it didn't quite work out Rodolfo Zelaya the best player for El Salvador on this game put me 1-0 up in the fifth minute However, we weren't able to hold it for very long as Eric Brown then pulled one back for um, Costa Rica with two minutes, with just two minutes um, after we took the lead. Brian Ruiz then made it 2 1 to them with 11 minutes to go before half time. We went in the half time 2 1 down. We went attacking in the second half. We had some chances to pull it back, but unfortunately, our Joel Campbell goal six minutes from time gave the Costa Ricans the win and not a great start for us it was 18 shots to 15 to me but they had 9 on target to my 5 and I had 60% of the possession I followed that up with my very first win a 2-1 win over Cuba Rosario Romero put us 1-0 up in the 5th minute before the half hour mark was even up Rodolfo Zelaya put us 2-0 up and we went in at half time 2-0 up and then with 18 minutes to go, Julio Maya pulled one back for Cuba. However, we were able to hold out to get a 2-1 win and get my first win as El Salvador manager. It was 19 shots to 5 in my favour. 8 on target to their 2. And again, I had 60% of the possession. I did actually change my um, formation after this. And I went to a 4 two three one pretty much everyone's favorite uh whoops i've clicked the wrong button just gonna have to wait for this to sort itself out so as you can see i went four two three one as did cuba uh, but i was able to take the um the three points so that actually put us level so weirdly enough there we go after the four games, I was on seven points, Canada was on seven points, and Costa Rica were on seven points. And I had both teams to play, but away from home. And I went to Canada and frustratingly drew 0-0. So the match stats, as you can see, was 18 shots to six to me, and four shots to one to their four shots to their one on target, and I have 59% of the possession, which is quite frustrating to come away with a 0-0. As well as that, Costa Rica beat um, Cuba. So on the um, games, it was after those results, it was me and Canada on eight, Costa Rica on ten. I had to go to Costa Rica, and Canada had to go to Cuba. So with the way it was going, the only way I could pretty much qualify was to beat Costa Rica. And as you can see, I did. Zelaya scoring his third goal in four games put us one and up in the twenty seventh minute and we were able to hold on and get the win that put us through to the hexagonal it was nine shots to seven to me three shots each and target and i had fifty four percent coupled with that result and the fact that canada beat cuba me and canada qualified for the hexagonal and costa rica missed out you had in group one you had mexico and haiti who actually went through uh, haiti beating Jamaica in the final game to qualify. Trinidad and Tobago beat Mexico, but it wasn't enough as it was either Haiti or Trinidad, uh, sorry, Haiti or Jamaica going through. And Group B was pretty much over by the halfway stage. Uh, well, actually, no, it wasn't. USA and Panama qualify. Even though after the f when I actually um, started the file, USA and Honduras were on six points each. So Honduras actually failed to make it through. So in the hexagonal, we've got Canada, myself, Haiti, Mexico, Panama, and the USA. I have to be honest, I'm liking that. Mexico and the US nailed on first and second, surely. 
but the next four positions are all up for grabs. I could qualify or I could finish bottom. I've already drawn with Canada and beaten them. I reckon I could get some points against Mexico, uh, not Mexico, sorry, Haiti, and it's all down to Panama. So it's going to be interesting, guys. I reckon it really is going to be interesting. I could finish third, I could finish bottom. I could get no points, I could get 15 or something like that. So it is going to be a very interesting section. And I have to say, in 2013, I'm going to have a load of games, as you can see here. I've got a friendly against Panama, who I play in the hexagonal. But not only that, as you can see, the Central American Nations Cup has been drawn, and I've got Belize and Honduras. Now, the rules, as you can see here, the number of matches are two or three, because there's only seven nations, one group of four, one group of three. As you can see, the top two teams from each group qualify. And I've got Belize and Honduras. And Belize are not the best team in the world. And I've got them first. So a win there would be excellent. And I'm not 100% sure. But I believe the semi-finalists go through to the Gold Cup. Uh, as the CONCACAF -like representatives. Um, I'm just going to go to the Gold Cup here. Let's see how this works. Uh, schedule. So we've got, if I remember correctly, there will be 12 teams, and I think it's 12, but there will be quarter finalists anyway. Um, so there's going to be eight teams at least, we know that. Um, so we're going to have to have quite a few qualifiers. There will be um, the USA, Mexico, um, Canada. So that's going to be free. So there's got to be nine other teams or a couple of teams that I'm completely missing out here. Because um, Panama, or actually are Panama here? Panama's there. You've got Costa Rica, you've got Guatemala, you got Nicaragua, you've got Panama. Um, now, it's either going to be 12 teams. It's got to be 12 teams. So that means there could be nine qualifiers unless I'm missing someone out. So there's the likes of Costa Rica, uh, Costa Rica's there, you've got Mexico, you've got a US, you've got Mexico. So that's two. Canada, that's three. So unless something else is working out, there's nine teams that are going to be qualifying from the Central American Nations Cup and the Caribbean Championship. Um, so it's going to be interesting, I have to say, unless we get someone from South America. There are sometimes invitational teams, I must admit. Um, so, yeah, that's that's how it's going so far. We've got, obviously, the fixtures for the, um, the uh, final qualifying round of the World Cup. We've got Haiti first, then Canada home, Mexico away, USA home, Panama away, Haiti at home, Canada away back-to-back -back home games against Mexico and Panama and finish away at the US so I would really really like to get r &T. if I'm to qualify I would like to get my place or my playoff place guaranteed before then um, interesting that out of the teams I reckon I could beat so Haiti Canada and Panama I go away to the two of them first which is quite nice I quite in like that and I also go to away Mexico first and then USA at home as well um, so yeah, it's not. It's gone very well, as you can see. I've qualified for the um, the uh, final qualifying round of the World Cup. Um, it could be interesting if I qualify for this World Cup because you could technically say this series is over already. Um, but I would like to carry on and then maybe prove this is not a fluke if I do make it. Um, we've obviously got the gold, potentially the Gold Cup in Central American as well. Gold Cup is going to be drawn 27th of February. Um, so what I'm going to do guys is I will play the Central American Nations Cup tournament and then I'll come back and do a video for that. So I could only be playing five games really. Two group games, no four games sorry. Two group games, semi-final and final. Um, the Central American Nations Cup, uh, but not the Central American Nations, the um, Gold Cup I believe will take place after the Panama game just here. I believe it takes place 
halfway through the um oh bugger I've done again halfway between the um uh, what do you call it? The qualifying. So you've got here. So let's have a look. So we've got seventh of July to the twenty eighth of July. So yeah, there we go. It's after Panama. So this is going to be interesting. I'm gonna. I think what I would do is next video will contain the Central American Nations Cup. Then the video after that will con contain the first half of the qualifying for the World Cup. The one after that will be the, if I make it, the um, North American Gold Cup competition. And then the f final video will be, um, or the final video for this section will be the final group um, qualification for the World Cup. I may do some live comms for the um, playoffs if I make the Intercontinental Playoffs, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, just going to co coefficients, coefficients, confidence. So we've made it to the fourth round, which is what they want us to do. They want us to reach the semi-finals of the Central American Nations Cup, which I really, really should do because Belize, I think, are the lowest ranked team in the entire competition. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. So that's it this for this episode, guys. Leave some likes, leave some comments, subscribe. Smash the crap out of that like button, I reckon, for getting to the uh, final qualifying round of the um, World Cup. And then tune in next time for a Central American Nations Cup special episode. Until then, guys, take it steady.